before we start the actual comparison, let's have a quick look at the three types of Anatolian Shepherd dogs found in Turkey. Number 1 Chivas Kangal. Popularly known as the Kangal dog. Number 2 The Turkish Boz Shepherd also known as the Gurti. And number 3 The XRA Malaklisi also known as the Turkish Mastiff. To understand better let's have a closer look with respect to the head type. We are pretty sure now you would have got a better idea in terms of what type of dog appears in this video. So let's begin. In this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Tibetan Mastiff, also known as Dakai, and a Shiva's Kangal also known as the Kangal Dog, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to note to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. In imitation factor, the Tibetan Mastiff's defining features are its lion-like mane and massive stature. An adult male Tibetan Mastiff stands at a height of 26 to 28 inches at the withers, and weighs between 45 to 72 kilograms. They are massive, well-built, athletic dogs that boasts having thickish, long double coats with an extremely bushy tail, whereas an adult male Kangal stands at an impressive height of 29 to 32 inches at the withers, and weighs between 50 to 65 kilograms. They are large, well-balanced, robust dog that boasts having an impressive sized head. This dog is a powerhouse, known for its impressive size and reputation as an impeccable herding and guard dog. However in terms of intimidation, the Tibetan Mastiff have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to a Kangal. So one point to Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff 1 Kangal 0. Powerful and loudest bar? Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <coughs> In our opinion the Tibetan Mastiff has a powerful bark, so one point to Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff 2 Kangal 0 Bite Force Among the two, the Kangal pressure bite topped 743 psi, whereas in case of a Tibetan Mastiff, we didn't have any information with respect to its bite force. However in our opinion, considering the dog breeds with similar cranial dimensions, we estimate it could be in between 500 to 700 psi. But with no concrete data available to compare, one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff 3 Kangal 1 Temperament Both the breeds have a reputation of being an intelligent noble dog, with aggressive and protective temperament. They can be a dangerous breed if not controlled and raised right. They need a strong willed owner whom they can respect, otherwise they can be dominating and very territorial. So one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff 4 Kangal 2 Lifespan The average life expectancy of Kangal is in between 12 to 15 years, and that of a Tibetan Mastiff is in between 9 to 15 years. So with longer lifespan, one point to Kangal. Tibetan Mastiff 4 Kangal 3 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the breeds are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However, in terms of energy levels, a Kangal is far more energetic as compared to a Tibetan Mastiff. So one point to Kangal. Tibetan Mastiff 4 Kangal 4. Friendly with kids and other pets. Both the breeds are known to be good around children's, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, both the dogs can show aggression which is why it's important. They be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff 5 Kangal 5. Powerful guard dog. Among the two, a Kangal is extremely ferocious and a powerful guard dog. So one point to Kangal. Tibetan Mastiff 5 Kangal 6. So the winner between the two guard dogs is the Turkish Lion. King Kangal. 